Hey guys, this is Dave from MortgageGuy.com and in this video, I'm going to break down the best way to sell your home to your children. But before I do that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with more videos like this. So let's say you want to sell your home to your children or an investment property to your child. So there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can really just sell the home outright. But in this video, I'm gonna break down the absolute best way to do it and reduce how much money your child is gonna need to be able to close on the home, okay? So going into it, you wanna sell the property to your child, okay? Let's use a hypothetical example and say that the home is worth 350,000, but you only want 300,000 for the home. Maybe you owe on the mortgage. Maybe you want to walk away with X amount of cash. Okay. So number one is structuring the deal. If you, the home has that extra $50,000 of equity in there, we want to use that equity to give your child the best advantage to get into the home with the least amount of money out of pocket. So we're going to use that $50,000. The way we're going to do it is really two different things that play into it. Number one is we're going to do what's called a gift of equity. Okay. So the $50,000 that's in there, we're going to use in place of their down payment. Okay. And you can do this when you're buying a home from a relative. Okay. So it could be grandparents to grandchildren. You know, there's some scenarios there. Okay. So that's number one. Now let's say that they only need $25,000 for their down payment. Okay. They're putting down a larger down payment because the equity is in there. We're going to then take the rest of the 25,000 and pay your closing costs and also use it toward you paying their closing costs. Okay. So we're going to increase the loan amount. So in general, we're going to have the sales price be 350,000. They're putting $25,000 in down payment, okay, which is the equity. So it kind of imaginary money there that just stays in the house and the other $25,000 to pay your closing costs, their closing costs. And again, this example is I'm over exaggerating. Chances are you don't need nearly that much for closing, obviously, but it's simple math, okay? And so we're going to have the loan amount be that 325,000. So you've got 300,000 plus the 25,000. So that way, once everything is paid, closing costs, taxes, insurance, you're going to have your 300,000 left over, okay, that you want. A couple factors there is you're not paying taxes because you're the equity is staying in the home and we're using up the cash that you would be walking away with. Now, you can structure this to walk away with as much money as you want out of it. So that doesn't mean that the bottom line has to be zero, but if you're just trying to maybe pay off the mortgage you have, right, or not walk away with any cash, this is how we would structure it. If you do want cash, we're still gonna structure it the same way. We wanna make sure that your bottom line number is what you're expecting. So. When you're going into a scenario like this, you can work with a realtor to structure the contract. You can do the contract yourself. I help many of my clients when it's a relative deal, structure the contract themselves for these specifics, okay? So one is that real estate contract, putting together numbers. The other thing is this, you wanna choose, or the lender or the realtor, choose a title company who has experience doing these types of loans. So a gift of equity transaction, because many title companies don't, they're not familiar with them. It can really mess up the numbers. So you want to find one that you trust and is knowledgeable on it. Then you want to have them do what's called a preliminary closing disclosure. Okay. And this is technically where they're going to break down all the numbers for the seller. So that way, you know how much you're walking away with, how this is structured. You want to get that done in advance before you even go under contract. So everybody's on the same page with the numbers. Your child is, you are, everybody feels comfortable. So there aren't surprises when you go to closing. If this isn't done right and everybody agrees on a sales price. Hey, we only want $300,000. 
Well, when you go to closing, you're not going to get 300,000 because you've got closing costs. You're going to have to reimburse the child, your buyer for the taxes you owe for the year, et cetera, et cetera. And your child is now bringing their down payment and their closing costs to closing and needing significantly more money out of pocket. So you have to make sure that this is structured correctly. And so that is the absolute perfect way to sell your home to your child with needing the least amount of money out of pocket at closing and making sure that your numbers are correct based on what you want when you go to closing. All right, call or email if you need anything, comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you find my videos helpful, I'd love to be your lender. Thanks guys.